My name is Amara Pope from the Investing News Network, coming to you from PDAC 2018. Joining me today is Rick Redfern, Chief Geologist of Stakeholder Gold. Their ticker symbol on the TSX is SRC. So Rick, in 30 seconds, can you please give us a breakdown of your company and its value propositions to investors? Yes, uh, Stakeholder Gold's a TSXV listed company in the, in the miner mineral exploration business. We're mainly looking for gold and silver, and uh, we have properties in the Yukon as well as uh, the current property that we're working on is in Nevada for high-grade gold silver in the uh, Midas Gold Trend, which is one of the uh, highest grade batches of mines in the world. There are three mines there, Midas, Fire Creek, and Hollister, which are three of the top 10 highest grade gold mines in all of the world. And we're, we're working adjoining to the Midas mine on the next hot spot there, which we hope will turn into one of the next uh, multi-million ounce, high grade, one ounce per ton gold mines. That's our, our main business proposition. And what are you currently working on? Yes, the, the main thing that we're working on now is the Gold Storm property, mm -hmm. which is 15 kilometers northwest of the Midas mine of Klondex Mines Limited. It's a, it's a high grade vein type gold silver deposit where the mining grades at like at Midas, when Newmont Mining had it first, are roughly one ounce per ton gold and about six to 12 ounces per ton silver. The silver is a little more variable. And when Newmont started this up, it was the highest grade mine in their portfolio outside of Yanacocha with a $200 an ounce cash cost. So that's what we're looking for. And a couple of these mines, Fire Creek and Hollister, have high grade open pit uh, disseminated mineralization at the surface about 300 meters above the high grade vein mineralization and we've, we've just intersected some of the high grade silica blanket which suggests potential open, open pit uh, possibilities for the property and we've drilled our first hole on the property where we found interesting mineralization and a good feeder zone down at the bottom of it and potential disseminated mineralization, which conceivably could be part of an open pit system up top. So that's what we're working on now is to figure out exactly what's happening there and where to put in our next drill holes. And what makes stakeholder gold unique? Well, because there are very few of these properties that have such high grade gold silver values. Most of the, a lot of the properties that people are looking for are low gram per ton open pit type deposits which are high cap cost building. And the ones we're looking for are the ones with <clears throat> high, high gold and silver grades that have lower cap costs to start up and build a mine and yield higher profit potential on the cost per ton and the profit per ton that you get from the ores. So that, that's what makes us special, looking for one ounce per ton gold mines with high silver in addition. It puts them in a special category that are desirable for investors. So. And what should investors be on the lookout for? Investors should be following us for the upcoming phases where we're, we're getting ready for our phase two drill program to start in the, the end of spring here when it dries out a bit. We had some bad weather when we did our first programs and made things a little bit tougher. And uh, we're, we're currently have interest from other large companies who conceivably could help stakeholder advance the proposition. So uh, if one of those happens, it should be quite enticing for shareholders and uh, we're going to be busy working on this the uh, entire time up until uh, perhaps April, May when we can get back out there to start drilling again. Well, we'll stay tuned for when you start drilling again. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you, Mara. <laughs> no problem. This is Amar Pope from the Investing News Network, your trusted source for investing success, coming to you live at PDAC 2018.